Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast Edition. Yes, it is your fellow Kumpazini speaking. So all of my diamond hand GME, uh, for those of you who don't like when I speak harsh, you may go ahead and uh, you know leave your appropriate thumb. But after you do that, can you at least give me a few moments of your time? I just want to explain a few things for you as we uh, speculate in the markets here. Also, if you guys are just joining us, welcome in. Uh, consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, this will be a, probably a little bit more of a harsh tone on this video. And uh, we're going to get into the details here. So, yeah. Um, the YouTube algorithm is picking up on the channel. It's promoting very quickly, actually. Thank you for your engagement, guys. But I don't, I don't want to waste time. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right. So today's February the 10th, 2021. And the previous close of GME is going to be $51.20. It closed up approximately 1.7% for the day. Okay. Really simple. Really, really simple, guys. Here's the lines. That's it. Really, really simple. On our previous video, we discussed two lines only. Like, we literally had two lines, okay? $56, okay? About 29 cents approximately. And this lower line down here at about $22.43. We also mentioned that GME had about a week to make a bullish counter move. And GME buyers have failed to do that, okay? I think we posted the video somewhere over here. Or I'm not even sure, guys, when the price was like 100 and something or just below $100. We said GME had about a week to make a bullish counter move. GME is sagging off harder than, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's it's sagging off. It, it, does, it doesn't appear to have financial support behind this stock, okay? I'm bringing all of this up to your attention because... I do think that there is that there will likely be an epic bounce in GME. I, I still do think that there's a bounce coming, but I don't think the markets will bounce when all of the diamond hands think that the market is going to bounce. Wall Street has had a lot of money invested in GME and they're going to get it at the best price that they want to get it up to or down to rather. And then at that moment, they will decide whether or not they want to push the markets back up there's a lot of money to be made in gme guys okay so don't don't uh, make sure that you understand the ebbs and the flows this way you can actually capitalize uh, when the market actually decides to turn around do i think it's going to turn around let me just give you this before we close out here uh we're up against a week there's a weekly candle is it a three-day candle okay this is a three-day candle that successfully just closed below 56 dollars. that is not a good sign we're actually opening a new candle on tomorrow is it tomorrow February the 11th, guys, I know, yeah. So tomorrow we're gonna open a new three-day candle. Okay, so that's perfect. Well, not perfect, not for the bulls, right? But it's a sign that the markets do not have the necessary financial support to hold up this price, guys. I can assure you the lines that I put on the charts are never random. Like you can seriously, you can bet the house. No, seriously, you can bet the house on the lines that I put on the chart. Okay, no, hang on, I can't say that. So, don't scratch that off that. No, no, don't bet the house. Okay, now that was pretty cocky, but take that back. The lines that we put on the chart, $56, it's very important. If the price does not get back above $56, let's just say over the course of before February the 17th and stay above $56, oof. Yeah, it, it, the sellers are trying to push the price down to the previous level of resistance before the $56 level. And that could be identified here at about $22.43. Guys, you diamond hands, you guys can disagree, leave your thumbs down. That's fine, guys. I'm not the I'm not the person that's going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to give you the technical data that is suggesting the price, the practical price levels. OK, the only number that we need to understand it needs to stay above is that one level we've already said like a million times, $56. OK. 56 i'd rather to get i'd rather for it to close above like 60 dollars. but let's just say you know for argument sakes our argument sake 56 dollars um i truly want all of you out there to be responsible with these market plays i don't like to see people lose money i truly don't i've been there okay i know how it feels it sucks it really sucks like it's real like it's really bad guys you know what i mean so i don't let me to come on here and, like speak harsh to like bash anyone no 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 i want people to have their own brains and understand what they're getting themselves into in these markets when you're putting the house betting the house on gme when you're long over 175 dollars come on you know like that, that, that that's pain to me like you know i, I can't sit with a sit with a position like that like what am i going to do with that position you're, you're down 
you're, you're slaughtered right now. I mean, uh, for the lack of a better term, right? I mean, you're down. Let's just say $170. I've seen people going long on GME over $300. What, was, what is that all about? Uh, 175 so let's just like 175 all the way down here that means you're down like 70 percent guys i don't i don't sit on positions no 70 percent down i'm a market sniper when i enter the markets i'm rarely down like 20 to 30 percent i'm on stock when i'm buying stock yeah yeah i'm, I'm not really down when i'm buying stock maybe 20 percent at the most but on options obviously that's a different story let's close this out by friday of this week Again, today is February the 10th, 2021. By Friday, it's going to be, I think, the 12th, okay? The 12th of February. If GME is not above $56 by Friday, then that means that there's a little bit more selling pressure in this market than one may think, okay? Um, am I still putting GME down, guys? I'm not even going to discuss that anymore, okay? Because people just kind of use that as a reason to leave a thumbs down. I don't care about the thumbs down. My true intentions are to come on here and put some sort of clarity, some sort of guidance in terms of the, the levels that you need to uh, understand what's going on if they're compromised to the downside. Or, of course, if you see the price continuing down, that's nothing that I would panic over because I'm fully prepared to, uh, to know that there could potentially be support near the $40 level. And if not there, the next level will be down to about $22.43 that we've already gone over. Okay, that's just what I want to stop in and let you guys know. I'm not talking about my put positions anymore. If I'm putting Jamie down, I'm just going to come on here and give you the levels. Okay, this is the most important thing. It'll be in a very large range if it closes. It just closed below $56. So, according as far as I'm concerned, the price action is subject to any price levels above $22.43 all the way up to $56. So hopefully this wasn't a long drawn out video. You guys have the targets. You you have what needs to happen before Friday of this uh, month. Okay, February. So uh, please just listen to the. I mean, you guys again. You can leave the negative comments and the thumbs down. The most important for me, the most important thing that I want to get across is to just take into consideration the level. So when you're looking at the price action and you see it goes up to like 56 or something like that, you'll understand what's taking place in the markets. The buyers are stepping in. If it's closing below 56, guys, there's no buying there's no buying interest stepping into the market. It's just the diamond hands holding the asset with the with the um and the assumption that they're going to actually hold the markets up. Maybe it will happen. I'm not sure. But just take note of the levels, guys. That's all I wanted to stop on here and say, which could have been summed up in what? 10 seconds. Let's close it out here, guys. Thank you for your time. Um, if you're new here, well, before you go, we also cover the alternative markets, Bitcoin and altcoins. So subscribe, hit the bell. We'll send you that information when it's available. And I do think we covered everything, guys. I truly appreciate your time. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. Execute a strategy that you've implemented over and over again that works. Do not follow the crowd, guys. These diamond hands, these lemon squeeze, lemon squeeze drinks. Don't follow that. Develop your own unique strategy so that you can be successful in these markets. I truly want all of you, seriously, even if you left a thumbs down or a negative comment or you don't like my voice, that doesn't matter. I want you to be successful, seriously. I want you to make these market plays in and out or long-term investing and actually make, uh, you know, capitalize on these fluctuations in the markets, guys, whether you like me or not. I truly want you to be successful. Let's cut it out here, guys. Um, yeah, go ahead and take care of yourselves. And uh, we're going to cut out here and bye for now.